oh my gosh, listen to me. Woohoo! Can you tell I'm excited? I made these cute little bags. They were Easter gifts. But now I made a tutorial. So come watch this tutorial. Come make these little cute pocketbook looking like gift bags. You could put anything you want in it. These could be great for baby showers, bridal showers. Any girl would love this as a gift. Any kid, depending on what paper pad you use. So please give me a shout out. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button and leave me a comment. You know I'll get back to you. All right, enjoy this tutorial. Love you guys. Hey everybody, how are you? We're going to make this cute little box to hold this little bottle. I guess you could buy alcoholic bottles, um, little wine bottles. This could be a box for a gift for a shower or, you know, anything you want it to be. It's a cute little box. This happens to be a non-alcoholic little drink. I picked this up at the Dollar, Dollar General. I think I got this for 90% off during the Valentine's Day sale. I did a video on that back then. So I know Walmart sells these at a six pack, but let's make this cute little box for this to go in. I think you're gonna love it. Um, I found this box on YouTube and I've changed it up for my liking. This is how we do it. You start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You're gonna need two papers that are coordinating and you'll see. On your 12 by 12, we're gonna do score marks. We're gonna score at two and a quarter all the way down. Okay, all the way down. Two and a quarter all the way down. Then I'm gonna rotate it twice to go to the two and a quarter mark again and score it all the way down. The reason why I'm saying all the way down is because we're only gonna go to the first score mark after we turn it once. So after we turn it once, we will score at two and three quarters. Now I will have all these um, measurements down below, linked down below for you. And I will also put it on my Facebook group, Power, Donna Powered by Creativity. So on this side, let's score at two and three quarters only to that first score mark. <clears throat> then we're gonna move over to four and seven eighths, and we're gonna go all the way down on that one. Now we're gonna go over to seven and an eighth. And on this one, we're gonna go all the way down also. We're gonna move over one more time to nine and a quarter, and we're only gonna go down to that first score mark. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take your paper, Turn it once, turn it twice. If you look carefully, you've got two score marks already. Those are the ones that we did all the way through. Now we have to mark to the first score line that um, two and three quarter mark and that nine and a quarter mark. Now, let's turn it one more time. I need you to put a little, take a pencil. I need you to put a little dot at the one and one eighth mark. And then I need you to put another little mark at the 10 and seven eighth mark. I need you to do this again on this side of the paper. So turn it once, turn it twice with the pencil mark the one and one eighth and the ten and seven eighth mark. This is what we need to do. See you made your little mark? See I already did this this one. From this mark to the first score mark and from this mark to this corner I need you to just give it a score. Now how I do that is I grab my ruler and I put it, let's zoom you in, zoom you in. 
to me out. Okay. Okay, there's that word again. From here to here, score it. Did you see where that was? From the top here to that first score mark, score it. Then just do it again for this side. From here to here. Now you should have something that looks like, can you see that? There it is. That's what your paper is supposed to look like. Let's do that for all four corners. Now that we're done with that, go ahead and erase your little pencil marks. So these are the four corners that we made the rectangles in. I wonder why my thing is doing that. You have a big square, a little square, a little square, a little square, a big square. So there's three little squares right here. I need you to cut in on those two. So from this side up to that first score mark, cut in like that. And then do it again for the other side. Cut it in. And you'll see that you'll have something that looks like this. Once we're done with all that, let's start to, to fold on all of our score marks. Now you'll see that your box is starting to take shape. How cute is this, right? This is going to slide in there. There's more to this, trust me. Right? Look at that. Put some tissue paper in it. How cute. How cute. How cute. Now, we have these two little things that we um, folded. And what we want to do is, let's see, we would like for them, I'm going to fold it first and then I'm going to show you how I got there. We're actually almost making it like a old milk carton. How an old milk carton used to fold in, that's the, the desire, that's what we'd like for it to be, to look like. Can you guys get to that? So this is how I did it. Yeah, they're so again. It's a mountain valley, mountain, valley, mountain. 
this is I basically just folded it in so your point goes in on both sides now we'll do the other side point goes in and only fold it to that first score line and be gentle because it doesn't need a huge huge crease it just needs to have a little crease see the way I'm accomplishing that oh love it so this little piece goes in and then you can fold your box any way you want as long as this little section goes in I like both of my um, pieces to be in one side, meaning my opening. So I like them to be towards the back of the box. Look at this. Let's glue it down. Because I dropped my pencil. I think I will be using my art glitter glue. And let me get my pay, um, clothespins. My clothespins become my extra fingers. If you ever watch um, Tammy from Scrapbookers, um, actually I think her her Facebook group is Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creation, and her YouTube channel is Country Craft Creations. She calls these her extra fingers, and I've always used them, but I like the way she named them. Yeah, she named them her extra fingers. Sorry, I needed a drink. I guess I'm talking too much. Now I'm going to get my art glitter glue. And I will start to glue. And then I will burnish it down. my close pin my extra finger hold that for a few seconds now I will do this side turn it on its side with my bone folder I will just give it I know you can't see I'm just crunching it down. Now I'll come back to this side. Now I only want glue. See how we have our fold and we have that other little square. I just want to now actually you know what take that back. Rewind. We're going to glue the entire thing.
what we're up to now is this. We have our bag. And, you know, it looks like an oversized milk carton, right? And we're going to... Actually, in the, in the end, this is going to look like a little pocketbook. And you can design the rest any way you want. This is a 12 by piece of paper, and it's not big enough to wrap around 100%. So after I give you the measurements, we're going to have to add a piece at the bottom. And I'll show you what the measurements are. You're going to start with your 12-inch 12 piece, 12 piece of paper, and then you're going to cut it down to be um, 7 and 5 eighths. Now if your paper runs with a pattern the way you want it, figure out where you need to cut it. I wanted my pattern to run like this, so I knew I wanted my 12 inch to be this way and my 7 and 5 eighths to be this way. After you cut your 12 by 7 and 5 eighths, I need you to score it down the middle. So score it at the 6 inch mark. So you lay your, your paper in at the 12 inch mark, score it at 6. Okay? Score it at 6. Then I would like for you to do is fold it in half and burnish it really well. And here's my bone. With your fold mark on your left, put it against, and I need you to score both pieces. So you fold it in half, I need you to score at the five inch mark. Then I need you to fold and varnish that very, very well. I'm going to bring the paper in now because we're done. And this way you can see, it gives you a contrast. Get yourself a coordinating color for just the bottom of this box. This was the rest of my paper, so I'm able to use it. Cut it at a little less than two and a quarter. One notch less than two and a quarter by seven and five eighths. Kuna Matata. Oh, I wanted, oh, actually, you know what? It's all right, it doesn't matter the bottom of the box. No overthinking allowed, right? No overthinking allowed. See what we created? Isn't that cute? So that, we're going to take this and slide it on in. How sweet! Isn't that adorable? I'm just kind of pressing it all in so that it gets to slide easier. Part of me wants to put a little pull on here. 
Oh, I'm loving this. All right, now we have to make the additional part to this. Since we're making our pocketbook, our box look like a pocketbook, I want to put a little topper on it to make it look like a flap on a, on a purse. And I'm going to layer them. The, the pink is going to be the base, and then my top is going to be white. This piece will be seven and five eighths because that's the width of our bag. Seven and five eighths by two and seven eighths. Then the top layer will be seven and three eighths by two and five eighths. Again, I'll have these linked or out below. Let's glue these down. Let's glue them down. And here's the art glitter glue. Don't do what I do. I wanted my corners punched. I have to. Ah, it's all right. Don't do what I do. Wait for me to shoot the video and then do it. Yay. All right, we can fix anything, right? Because we're crafters. Crafters can fix anything. Ta-da! Fixed. Fixed, 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 fixed. So then we're going to take this and put it to the top of our rectangle, triangle, rectangle, and put it up there like that. So some more glue. How cute this is coming. Now that the cover is just about done, I'll slide that in. And I have to figure out how I want to put an embellishment on the front. And I think that if I if I make one, how cute will that look? But I want to add something to this. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Do I use some flowers? Do I use... Oh, that would be cute. Uh, you know what? I took a doily. Let me find one of the small doilies. Well, let's find a small doily. How cute would this look? You know that there's more than one there, right? Yeah, there it is. What if... Oh, how cute is that? Oh, I'm liking that. And you know what? That works for me. And maybe... Maybe we bring one of these in. Not that one. That one doesn't match very well. Um, I think I want that one.
Oh, how sweet is that? Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. I might have to make a quick Happy Easter tag. Oh yeah, maybe. All right, I will uh, make the second box and I'll come back and show you what I did. All right. this please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel like I said I promise you great things are coming anything that I'm buying in a haul I am going to use within the next few weeks that's my goal that is my goal um, trying not to haul but that's almost impossible but I am gonna I am gonna work on the things I have so once again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Please leave me comments. I love to talk to you all. With that being said, have a great day, and I will see you real soon. Bye.